All right, Nick and Tesla fans, thanks for tuning in. So, in Chapter 1, Nick and Tesla get a little bored. So what do they do? Well, they build a water-powered bottle rocket, just like this one. Now, the instructions start on page 36. I'll show you how it all goes together so that you can try it yourself. Okay, so in order to build your water-powered bottle rocket launcher, you're going to need mostly PVC pipe. Now, if you go to the hardware store, they'll often cut this for you so that you don't even have to cut it yourself. Here's what you're going to need. Two 20-inch pieces, four 10-inch pieces, three 90-degree angle pieces, two end caps, a T-piece, a threaded reducer, a little valve piece from the auto supply store. You're also going to need a pair of pliers, a pair of safety glasses, and of course, you're also going to need the Nick and Tesla's High Voltage Danger Lab book. Page 36. Probably the first thing to do is to sort of get your pieces together and test fit them and make sure that you know how it's all going to go together. So take a look at the illustration in the book and put it all together yourself. It'll look something like this. All right, well now we've sort of got it loosely set up, but before we glue it in place permanently, we need to drill a hole in one of the end caps. And this is where your bicycle valve is gonna go so that we can pump it up full of air. Now the valve you can pick up usually at an auto supply store. Ask an adult to drill that one half inch hole and then pop the valve through like that and then get a pair of pliers and pull it through so it's really secure like that. That's what it'll look like. And now it's time to permanently glue your rocket launcher together. Now, grab your nearest friendly adult and some PVC cement that you get from the hardware store and go through every joint to secure that permanently. That will make sure that our air pressure stays in. Once you have that all done, then you're ready to go outside. All right, so here we are in the beautiful outdoors ready to launch our bottle rocket but we have one last adjustment we need to make. Right now, this bottle is a little loose onto this cap. So to fix that, we're gonna take a little bit of electrical tape and wrap it around the threads of the adapter. Keep doing that a little bit at a time until you get a nice, snug fit. Oh yeah, that is gonna be perfect. Now that we've got a nice, snug fit, we gotta put the bottle on. Now I filled this up about halfway with water and you can experiment with different amounts for the highest launch that you can get. This is a little bit tricky, but not too bad. You turn that upside down, tighten that on, make sure it's nice and snug. Flip it over, give it a last little twist there to make sure it's nice and tight. And we're ready to attach the pump. The pump goes on. And then of course, your safety guns. Now make sure that the pump is about as far away as it can get from the bottom. And then, well, just start pumping. <laughs> well, I wasn't kidding. Those things sure do go high. By the way, in case you're wondering, I just took my bottle rocket launcher, gave it a little spray paint black, and added some cool yellow and black stripes. And you should decorate yours any way that you want. And if you do, well, we got some links below so you can send us pictures or even video and show the world how cool your bottle rocket launcher is. So check it out. And now, I think I want to blast it off again. 